Probably for the big but stuff going while driving. Yeah. The National Highway Traffic and Safety Association reports 25% of all accidents caused by distractions. Everywhere we drive, people are multitasking while they drive. And eating, putting on makeup, shaving, reading paper, and stuff you probably couldn't even imagine them doing as well. They're doing it. But nonetheless, the number one source of driver um, and attention is use of the wireless device, cell phones. Anybody here been a cell phone related accident? Someone hits you while on cell phone, you get down on cell phone. Anybody at all? All right, that's good. Um, another question: Who texts on phone while driving? I know someone probably does. Everybody does, right? All right. Um, well, technically, you're kind of lucky if you're still alive. Uh, in studies from Harvard Center of Risk Analysis, estimated cell phone use while driving is about 50 percent crashes. Um, it's about 50 percent of crashes, 130,000 injuries. 12,000 serious injuries and about 2,600 dollars, 2,600 deaths each year. That means every year about 10 people die in a cell phone related accident. Some people go home because someone decided to talk on their phone instead of driving and paying attention to the road. Who knows that? When you're riding someone's front, you're going really slow, kind of swerving a little bit, and you pass them on the phone, they're like, not paying attention. Well, before you receive the view you talk Illinois, who are working independently on much tests, came to the conclusion that talking on the cell phone uh, really is about six times more likely to get in an accident than any other thing. They're 18 times slower to react to a brake light, 17 times slower to regain brake speed after braking, and twice as likely to rent a car in front of them. Uh, in 2009, they tried to study of cell phone use while driving. Studies show that brain activity reduced 37% when engaged in phone conversation while driving. In those of the University of Utah, they experimented and did some research showing the rate of distraction between drivers on a cell phone and those who are talking to a passenger in the car. After testing 41 different people, both men and women, testing both using a cell phone, talking to a friend along with them um, in a simulator, more mistakes and distractions were noted with the user on the cell phone. The test consisted of a 24-mile highway simulation with real-life traffic, obeying all the traffic laws, changing lanes, speeding, everything. And the main purpose of it was to make sure that they're trying to traffic. They're, being, um, they're aware of it. It was determined that passengers are not a distraction, but assist in keeping the driver aware of their surroundings. Those drivers that were using a cell phone were more likely to drift into other lanes, speed, and four times more likely to miss their exit, which caused them to swerve across all this traffic. Um, according to Dr. Frank Drews, David Strayer, and Dennis Crouch, all of which are professors and that's research at the University of Utah. Drivers who talk on either handheld or hands-free cellular device are just as impaired as drunken drivers. Same professors ran a test where a group of volunteers drove a simulated vehicle again. First test involved no distractions at all. Then they drove talking over on the phone to a member of the staff. And lastly, they drove after drinking enough vodka to get their alcohol level to the point where they're drunk. The results show that the volunteers had near misses or crashed more often when they were on the cell phone than when they were drinking and driving. Big participants in the study were involved in a rare accident. Every one of them on cell phone, not one of them was because they were drinking. And uh, we all know that these days that driving and influenced alcohol is illegal. So talking to cell phone is just as dangerous as, um, if not more dangerous than drinking, then why it wasn't that banned as well, not to get safe. Um, it saves lives, and there should be no questions of whether the ban exists or not.